Hi, <laughs> I'm Dylan. I'm Asit. And we are from the Santa Fe Children's Museum. This is all science experiments that you can do at home with your parents' permission. Yes, and today we're going to be working with sound. You know, it's kind of weird. Uh, there's so many things, invisible things out there that you, know, you can't see that are all around you. You have uh, Wi-Fi, you have radio, and of course, sound. Yes, I like to use Bluetooth personally for my headphones. Yeah. Um, but here's a demonstration of what sound physically looks like. There's actually vibrations in the air, and it goes into your ear, and your brain translates that into sound. Yes, and so today we're going to be doing a cup phone experiment. Um, and you don't need a lot of materials for this. This is stuff that you can find lying around your house. Your cup, it can be a plastic cup, it can be a paper cup. It can be a tin can. Mm -hmm. And also we need a string, of course. Yes. Uh, it could be a fish line, it could be a kite string. Uh, those are things you generally don't find in the home, but you can use yarn and other types of string as well. Uh, they may not work as well. You want scissors, again, ask your parents permission before you use these to cut your string. And paper clips, so you can poke holes in your cups. Yes. So to get us started, we're going to um, grab some cups and we're gonna poke a hole in the center right there. And we don't want to do it any bigger than the size of this paper clip. Fun fact, the speed of sound is at 767 miles per hour. When you're in the car on the highway with your parents, that car is traveling around 70 miles per hour, so sound is 10 times faster than that. And only certain military grade planes have passed the speed of sound. And when they do, they create a sonic boom. And you don't want the hole to be too big um, because you want to make sure that that sound are, is able to pass through the string. All right, so now we get to the part where we need to cut the string. Yes, so how long do we want to make this? Well, if you make it too long, it doesn't sound as good. Okay. Uh, if you make it too short, you know, it's not as fun. It's about, it's about this big. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then now what you do is you actually, you're going to poke the, uh, the string through the hole. And uh, that may be a little bit difficult, so you may need help from your parents. That's it, but it needs to be very tight. And it can't be, can't be too wide, or otherwise the sound because the sound is actually going to travel through the string. You know how when I did the, uh, the sound here, that sound is actually traveling through the air. What we're actually doing here is we're going to make the sound travel through the string. Neptune, one of the coldest planets in our solar system, has winds that go more than 1,500 miles per hour, which is faster than sound. OK, now that I've actually gotten it through the cup, you're going to tie a knot, all right? I don't know if you know how to tie your shoes or anything, but generally you want to make a, a big loop like that. You make a, a loop. And then you take this little piece, put it through the loop, and you little pull like that. And you do it again. You do it about four times. And you want the little knot to be in the same area. How many is that? That's two. Now here we go. Three. And then now four. You can do five or six. But for this part, you know, four is good. So you want a little, you know, a big lump like that. So that way, when you pull the string on your phone, it stays stuck. Yes. It doesn't get out. Now that we've cut, put a hole in the cup, put the string through the cup, and do your little knot, all right? You cut off the little extra bit, all right? Don't cut off the knot. All right, so you cut off the extra. It comes off the knot. Perfect. You ready? Yeah. All right, so this one, the line has to be tight, all right? It has to be like that, all right? You can't, can't be, it can't be loopy like that. It can't be like loose. So you have to tighten it. And then you talk through the cup. How does that sound? That sounds really cool. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as we are and that you're enjoying your day. Well, yeah. I think that's it. That's our uh, you know, phone cup experiment. It's yeah. very classic, but still very fun. It's, it's really weird how well it works, all right? Well, hopefully this is good for you. Yeah, stay tuned for our next video. This series is going to continue through uh, week to week, and so we'll see you next time. Yeah. Have a good day.